Hi y'all. She was seven. Okay, I know I look crazy, but I've been experimenting with some crazy eyeliner and I'm just I feel like doing a video. So this video is gonna be about flipping the script. Okay, ladies, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you ask your man for money? How do you uh get money out of a man? How do you get them to pay for stuff? Because they're not trying to pay for stuff these days. And I'm like, well, you gotta trick people these days, okay? And it's it's sad. But this is what it's come to. Men do not want to act like gentlemen anymore. Men do not want to play the provider role anymore because they have been taught that um, you're not supposed to do that. And by nature, women are receivers, men are givers. Okay, so when something goes wrong in nature, what do they do? They experiment and they do run tests and they say, hey, why is this going wrong? We need to fix it. And a lot of times they'll take, you know, insects or animals and they'll put them in a different environment under di different circumstances to see if they'll revert back to the way that they were supposed to be naturally. And so a lot of times they got to trick them, okay? The environment and certain things change them for some reason, okay? And in order to get them back to doing what they're supposed to be doing by nature, sometimes you got to trick them and put them in a certain situation so let's do it so if you don't want to pay on a date don't bring your purse okay don't bring your wallet <laughs> first of all they're gonna think you're bringing a purse but they don't know there's a wallet in there so when you get to wherever you need to go you order whatever and they ask you to split the bill oh well, I'm so sorry I left my wallet at home oh my god I'm such an idiot uh, <laughs> there, your food's paid for. Okay, so now you need some money and you've been dating this guy. He's your boyfriend, but he's, he never gives you anything, okay? He's not putting in, you know, his dues, you know? Yeah, he might take you to the movies or whatever, but, you know, he's not giving you any extra spending money to make yourself beautiful for him, right? Your friend down the street, her she's not even as cute as you, but her boyfriend is giving her money, like, you deserve some too, right? So let's get let's let's get into it. How do you get money from a man? Okay. <sighs> well, you cut him off sexually, duh. So you say, "Oh my God, I need to." I'm so stressed out about this problem that I'm having. I need some money. I need to go. You know, I need to pay this person back to make up something. It doesn't even matter. If you want $100, make up something. I owe my mom $100. She's just bugging me. I'm stressed. I don't feel like doing nothing. I'm not in the mood. I'm not horny. I'm, I'm, I got to go get another job because I have to pay her back $100 a month because I borrowed something from her. And it ain't true, okay? But this is how you get your nail and hair money or whatever. And I'm just so stressed out. I'm thinking about going to wait tables at one of the little men's gentlemen's club because they said that they make a lot of tips and only have to work one night a week. So he's going to be like, dang, she's going to be working with strippers just to get $100 to pay her mom back every month. No, let me go ahead. I, I got you. I'll give it to you. Because first of all, if you say I have to go get a second job at a strip club as a waitress, that's how all the strippers start off, right? As a waitress. Especially if you have a body to, to, to do that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so they're going to be like, no, I don't want you in that environment. You don't have to do that. I'll give you the $100, okay? And say, well, this is every month, so I'm going you know, to need that extra help every month. Are you sure? Like, pretend like you don't even want him to give you the money. Like, no, baby, it's okay. I'll go get that job. You know what? Those men in there, they're drunk. They're horny. They're going to give money, you know, like it's water. They got money. So I don't want make him feel like less than a man and he'll give you that money be like you know i don't want to take your money i can take their money you know i can make lots of money on these you know rich old horny men who are just handing it out so now that puts you in an environment um in an environment where you can meet a rich man or man with more money than them who's just going to throw tips at you for bringing them a drink right um and who might even flirt with you because you know you never know so, in his mind, he's like, oh, hell no, I can't do that. So, he's going to give you the money. Now, if you don't look like, you know, you can pull off 
being a waitress in a strip club or getting the attention from a certain type of men, then you take away, still you take away the sex and you take away the time and you insert someone else in his spot. Like, you know, um, my, put, put your ex-boyfriend in it, but not directly, indirectly. My ex-boyfriend's cousin, name a girl, or my ex-boyfriend's mother, you know, she always told me if I ever needed anything, I could come to her. So first of all, if he knows that you're going to go borrow money from an ex-boyfriend's mother or cousin or whatever, he's going to feel like they have money and she'll try to talk you back to going with her son or you might accidentally see him while you're over there or she might call and tell, oh, she needs money. She must not be with any type of, you know, decent man because she's coming to me for money. So it's going to make him feel bad. So he's going to give you the money. Okay. It's mind games. Now, if he just says, no, I broke, I can't afford it. I can't afford to take care of myself. That's when you got to go to plan B and get a side dude just to give you money. Okay. Um, and this, I know this is politically incorrect, but that's just how things work. Okay. So if you can find a side guy, you know, an older guy who got some money and just like want to spend it on somebody and just say, Hey, you know, my boyfriend ain't this. He can't afford to do this and that for me. You know, you want to be my side sugar daddy, you know? Some women have to go to that extent. Uh, a lot of women say, you know what? If I could make the perfect man, I would have to have three men. Uh, and this is just realistic, you, you guys. Okay, a lot of women will think that there's some magical answer out there to get what you want. But it's all in your mind. You know, men play games with women all the time. Okay, all the time. And when a woman can play a game, the same game, but even better with a man and she gets over on him half the time, actually more than half, 90% of the time, they never find out. Okay, 90% of the time, they don't think it's a game. They won't even question you because women are so talented at putting so much detail into the game. They just believe it. Okay, and half the time, Whatever the problem is, it's not even a problem, okay? It's a way to get what you want. It's called manipulation, okay? And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm I'm not ashamed to, to say manipulation works because everyone knows manipulation works, okay? If your morals are so high and so above this and this and that, why are you with a broke guy? And why are you complaining about it? It should only be about love. So if you have a problem with manipulation and tricking guys, but you want money from a guy, this, 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 and that, but you're not willing to do, to get what it takes by tricking him because you know he's not going to give it to you any other way, then you don't really want that money. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll tell y'all a story. Let me see if I have time. Yeah. So when I first started dating the guy that I married, I said, look, I was very blunt because I was like, you know, I have nothing to lose. Like, I, I've i been single for a while. I don't have nothing to lose. I'm just going to put it all on the table. I'm like, look, I don't have sex with people until I'm in a relationship. Okay? That means we got a date. You got to take me out. I got to be your girlfriend. Okay? So, he said, okay, I can deal with that. And he really wanted it. Okay? So, he waited for it. He he said, okay, we can, we can be a couple. So, I said, okay. After three months... I'm like, look, I can't be involved with somebody. I can't be in, in a relationship with some, especially a, a guy who is, um, you know, very financially stable and, you know, has a lots of money to spare. You have a nice car. You have a nice place. You make a lot of money. I can't be with somebody who's going to make me go out there and work a nine to five up under some other man all day when he can afford to take care of me. I can't do it. It just doesn't feel right, you know, because every place that I work, there's always some guys coming after me. Y'all heard the word, y'all heard the word husband. Okay. They're real. <laughs> so I told him about that. I said, you know, everywhere I work, there's always some guy that's always, you know, interested in me and they want to wine and dine me, take me out to lunch, take me on weekend trips everywhere I work. They want to do this. So I, that's why I'm not comfortable working and dating at the same time. If I'm going to work, I can't date because there's so many 
you know, guys at the places that I work who are very interested in me, okay? And, you know, they take things personally, especially from women. This is before sexual harassment was real big, especially for women. If you say no, if you decline them all the time to go out to lunch and, you know, do things with them, they'll take it personally and they you won't get the same treatment, you won't get this, you won't get that. And if they're, um, if they're not corporate owned, there is no policy in place, you know, to, you know, to stop the sexual harassment. And if, you know, if you're young, you, you can't afford to go hire a lawyer, da, 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 da. So it's like, look, I can't date and work at the same time. You need to handle this. So he did. He's like, you're right. I know a lot of my friends who own businesses and are in that business and they're very, you know, they're very uh, ruthless. I know exactly what you mean. So no, you don't have to work anymore. I can afford to take care of you, you know? So that's how it goes. But if you don't have a man that can afford to take care of you and he says, well, I don't care, you just gonna have to deal with it. And you know, if you, if you love me, if you're any type of woman, you'll, uh, you won't have, you won't deal with that and you won't put up with it and blah, 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 blah. Then you say, okay, whatever, you know? But then, then you go get a work husband for real because obviously you don't have a choice. And you get him to buy you stuff, to buy you lunch, to take you shopping, okay? There's guys out there who you work for, who make a lot more money than your man, and they will buy you things, okay? I know this is probably like, oh my gosh, she's living in fantasy land. Where does she work? <laughs> Y'all forget I was young back then, okay? And the people that I worked for were older. So, that dynamic right there is, you know, bait. That's bait. You know, if you're young and, you know, you look halfway decent, you can get what you want out of life. But, you know, if you're older, it's not going to work. And I'm not, I'm trying to be rude, but it's not going to work. You're going to have to come up with a mental game at that point. You're going to have to come up with the, I got to go borrow some money from my ex-boyfriend's mother, or I can't be with you. Uh, I'm, I'm not sexually aroused anymore because I am so stressed about money. Okay. Um, you know, I'm thinking about going to work at night in a cocktail bar as a waitress. I need to take on a second job at night in a club. Now, this means, oh my gosh, she's going to meet other people with money, with tips. She's going to leave me while I'm supposed to be with her. She's out working in a club with skimpy clothes on. Oh no, I got to give her that $100, you know. If you know they can afford it, then you play those games if they say no, you know, because they're lying. And if they don't want to give you money, then they don't really value you. You're not, they're not giving you the thing that you want, you know? Women like comfort, you know? If we're gonna pay money to get our hair, nails, makeup, or whatever, for you, to look good for you, to up your status, to make people say, oh, he got a nice looking girl, mm -hmm. then you need to help pay for that, you know? Because you know how some women just let themselves go after they get married and say, you know, I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt and some jogging pants with some stains on them. I'm not gonna do my hair and put my bonnet on. I don't need no more makeup. Just give me some lip gloss. Okay, let's go. No, that stuff costs money. And when women pay for all those things when they're single, believe me, they're getting, um, they're getting reimbursed with dates, with drinks, with gifts and stuff like that. They're not just spending that money. And if you are, you're doing it the wrong way, okay? So, I'm just going to put that out there. I know a lot of women are going to disagree. A lot of men are going to chime in and be like, blah, 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 what about love? You know what? If you can't give me $100 when I ask you for it, do you really love me? Like, honestly, do you really love me? If I say, baby, I need $100. If you say no, then how am I supposed to believe that you truly, truly love me? Okay? You'll die for me. You'll do this for me, but you won't give me $100. That don't make no sense, okay? It just don't. You know, you can say you'll die for me, but when it comes down to it, is that true? If you won't even give me $100, I don't believe that. Put your money where your mouth is, you know? So anyway, I know I'm looking crazy, but I had to get this video. If y'all have any questions or if y'all have anything to add to it, y'all know what to do. Put it in the comments. I don't regret anything I say. I believe 100% in manipulation and mentalism and tricking men because 
women are the receivers men are the givers if they don't want to give naturally and they have to be deceived and tricked into it well oh well we're just you know trying to get them back to where they're supposed to be naturally that is our job as women of the earth is to get nature back in order okay i'll see y'all later bye